Well, okay, um, it's been a while since I've done this, got my tripod out and the camera and pressed record. <sighs> Apologies. <laughs> I'm a bit different now, dyed my hair. Yeah. Apologies. Really big apologies. I really, really wanted to get back on track with my YouTube channel over the summer holidays. I was going to like bulk film a load of videos and edit them, and be really consistent and upload weekly and then that kind of just didn't happen. Oops. <laughs> Huh. I had a video recorded that I was going to upload right at the beginning of September because it was, it was relevant to that time but then work happened. I started college. I'm in my final year of college, year 13, before I go off to university. It's going to be great. So it's, you know, quite a serious year and then I also got a job which I started at exactly the same time. Literally first day at college was then my first evening at work and I've been really struggling to find the time and energy to film and edit videos. It's half term now, first day of half term. I'm going to edit this video that I wanted to upload in the beginning of September that I didn't get around to for several reasons. And I just, yeah, wanted to just say before you get into this video, sorry, I've been away. I'm going to try and get back on track. I've quit my job now, so hopefully you'll be seeing more content from me. This video was going to be about for year 12s, who are starting their A-levels. Hence why I wanted to upload it at the beginning of September before college like started. But I'm still gonna upload it because I still filmed it and it's gonna I think it's gonna be quite a cool video. Hello year twelves, you've just done your first half term at college. How are you finding it? You struggling a bit? Are you you know, or are you finding it alright? Who knows? If you need some extra help, if you're thinking, oh god, this is a lot of work, I need some advice from someone with experience, then watch this video. Hopefully you can get a few tips out of this. Still relevant, still relevant, it's fine, it's fine, let's get on with it. Hi, so this week I wanted to talk about A-levels and more specifically starting A-levels. So if you're watching this and you're just about to go into year 12, I've got some advice for you. This is advice I have come up with based on my last year as a year 12 doing my first year of A-levels. A-levels is a very stressful and confusing time and honestly it's difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's not easy, but it is manageable and you can get through it if you follow these five tips that I've got for you. First, and most obviously, be organised. I cannot stress this enough, I absolutely cannot stress this enough. Oh my god, please stay on top of your work. You know, do whatever you wanna do, organise it however you wanna organise it. But just be organised, okay? Get a diary to write down all of your workload in when you get the work, you know, do it in your free periods, do it as soon as you get it, don't leave it till the last minute. Make sure you keep your folder up to date as well, make sure you keep up to date, keep putting all your paper in and organising all in the right order and things like that. It just makes everything so much more manageable because it can really, really pile up and the workload can seem like a huge amount and it is a lot but if you keep on top of it and keep going with it it helps make it seem more manageable and a lot smaller otherwise you find that you get to the end of the term and you've got this massive pile of work you have got to sort through put into your folders and all this homework that you've forgotten to do and all these assignments because the teachers don't necessarily nag you as much for your homework if you haven't got it you haven't got it but you got to do it. It helps. There is a reason it's set and it's to help drill it in your head. So, you know, do it because it works. My second point is to revise. Again, I cannot stress how important this is. Like, actually do it. I know all the previous past years you've gone, oh yeah, this year I'm going to start revising 10 months in advance and I'm going to do all my work as soon as I get it. And then it's the first term in and you've already slacked off and it's all gone to shit and you think, oh well, sod it now. Don't be like that with A-levels. Please, please, please do not, <laughs> okay? With revising, you've got to find out what works best for you, what is easiest for you. How do you revise? What makes you remember things the most? And it could be a range of different things. It could be making posters or writing songs or doing past papers, whatever it is. Find it out before you have to start revising for your exams. 
because then when it gets to exams you know how to revise and you're not stressing out because you're not sat there going oh my god how the fuck do I revise I don't know how to do this and then you find you have less to remember as well because you've already gone over it and sunk it into your brain like three or four times previously. Again this will just make the revision for your exam seem a whole lot easier, smaller, more manageable. My third piece of advice is take a break. There is a lot of work with A-levels and it's not just school work but you'll probably be finding yourself a job and you'll be trying to have a good social life and you're trying to get enough sleep and you're trying to have a good family life and it will all just get insane and pile up and it will be horrible and it'll feel like there is no time in the world anymore but sometimes you do just need to take a break from your work. Don't overwork yourself. Take time off to relax. Your mental health is important okay? It's not worth getting so stressed over all of this stuff. You know it's okay to have days where you're not being very productive. It's okay to sit back and take a breather and go okay you know what today I'm gonna do what I want to do. A-levels are not your entire life. There is more to your life than just A-levels and you can't forget about that. You can't. My fourth piece of advice is ask for help. If you're struggling let your teachers know. Say to them, hey, I'm finding this a bit too much. Can I please have some help? They may have some tips and advice for you. They may be able to extend your deadlines for the essay you've got to do. They may be able to have one-to-one -one sessions with you. So if there's something that confused you in the lesson, they can go over it with you in your free time a bit more slowly, a bit more thoroughly and give you the attention that you need and deserve rather than everyone in the entire class. And let them know if you're struggling, if you're finding it hard to cope with. Because honestly, the teachers will want to know and they will want to look out for you. My teachers honestly were really, really good with me this year and they were like, you know what, we know you've had a hard time and we understand that and we're going to allow for that. We're going to let you have this hard time and we're not going to put pressure on you because you're not keeping up because we know that you're struggling and that's okay. Ask for help if you need it, please. It helps, <laughs> funnily enough. Finally, my fifth piece of advice is don't be afraid to change. A-levels aren't the be-all end-all. They do not define you, they are not your life. It doesn't matter if you struggle, it doesn't matter if you find it hard. What matters is that you are happy and content and comfortable with what you're doing. If you feel like you're stretching yourself, then, you know, drop a subject. If you are not enjoying the subject that you're doing, ask if you can change it. And actually, do you can still do what I do, it's never too late to change because I'm dropping two of my subjects and taking up a different one next year because I'm just, I would much rather do that subject. I'm doing an A-level in one year but it's a change because I know that I just wasn't engaging with the others enough. You know what, it don't just stop it there. If you're not happy at the college you're at, change college if you want. You know, this is all especially easier within the first few terms, so don't be afraid to do that, but you can start again at a new college at the end of the year if you want to. If you don't feel like you're comfortable with the college you're at, you can change. And if you want to change from doing A-levels to maybe doing a more vocational course to doing a BTEC or apprenticeship, fucking go for it, okay? It doesn't matter you shouldn't be ashamed if you don't want to do a-levels anymore a-levels are tough they are hard they're not made for everyone to how impressive enough that you've got this far don't put pressure on yourself to keep going with a-levels if they aren't for you if you know there's something else you would much rather be doing go and do it seriously it's not worth stressing over a-levels if they're not for you you and your mental health is what is important not what the reputation is or what others think of you. Fuck that. You do what makes you happy, okay? That's what's important. Good. Glad we got that sorted. That's all I've got to say on my half. I thought it would be helpful if you had a collection of other advice from other A-level students. Here's what other people have had to say. I'm sure there's one topic on A-level students' minds. University. Deciding whether or not to go to university is a big decision for many students as is which course you do. There are other factors to consider too, such as the location, whether it is city or campus based, and the social life available to you. For me, the most important thing to consider when applying for university is the course. 
It's so important to only go and study something if you enjoy it. Not only will a degree last at least three to four years, it is also hard work. And amidst getting swept up in the excitement of university life, it can be hard to motivate yourself to write that essay or study for an exam. At least if you enjoy the course, you'll be more motivated to do so. Once you have chosen your course, you can then think about the other factors. Draw up a list of priorities that are important to you and try and visit the universities where you can. It's also worth noting that university isn't for everyone and you shouldn't feel pressured into going. It is still possible to build a successful career without a degree. When preparing for exams, past papers are a student's goldmine. I remember taking my AS maths grade from a U to an A just by doing as many past papers as I could. And I know that it really helped me to know what to expect and how to approach questions in the real thing. Make sure to revise work little and often. Leaving modules for a long period of time until your study leave will mean that you're relearning rather than revising. Spending just a couple of hours every month or so will really help you to cement your knowledge and not make it a revision overload come summertime. Lastly, when making academic decisions, big or small, Always listen to your gut and do what is right for you. Whether your friends want to carry on a subject to A2 but you don't, or you're applying to do a subject at uni but you actually prefer another, remember that you will be living by these decisions and having to put the work in. Just make sure you're putting your efforts into things you like and do the best. My first tip is that your revision starts the day you start learning. What you've got to do is you've got to look over your lesson, even if it just takes you like 10 minutes just to look over what you've learnt and really consolidate it in your brain. My second tip is to make a schedule of your revision. It's nice to just have a little guide of what you're going to be doing on certain days. All anyone can really ask you to do is just try your best. Use your time wisely. Do not waste it. Don't ever stop. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you want something like this again. You know, let me know if you enjoyed this type of content. I like, I like doing this. I will see you next week. Have a good life. Goodbye. My fourth piece of advice.